All right, Kane, here we go. What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, Key Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys are, you know the drill camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because today, your boy, your boy's been making some mistakes. Your boy's been on the internet. I, I, I've not been spending right. <laughs> I have a problem. I've been spending too much time on Wish.com. So today, what we're going to be doing is these products don't exist on any other selling platform, pretty much. That's why it's on Wish. And today, we're going to be doing an entire box. Come on over here. This is my reference paper right here. This entire box is filled with a bunch of Wish spy related items. We're going to find out exactly what that means, but I was told that basically all the items in here are spy usage or it's an item that isn't quite what it seems. You it has a double feature that can be used for survival. I don't really know exactly what to expect, but let's go ahead and get inside of this. I have no, I, I really don't know where we're going to go from here. All right. So first up, I was told that there's a very, very tiny item in here, which is always frustrating because this box is pretty big. So what we're going to do is stick my whole shoulder in there and we're going to look for it. The smallest object. Pretty probably easy to find. All right, I think I found it though. This has to be because it feels pretty tiny. What was that, 50 cents? That was my rebate. <laughs> okay, so we have some kind of coin here. I don't really know where to go with this. I don't know what this is, so give this a second. Hey, so you put this coin in here. What exactly is the coin? Like, what's the purpose of the coin? I know it's a coin, but what does the coin do? It didn't look like it did that. Okay, thank you. Bye. You're not gonna believe it. Uh, probably not. <laughs> so watch this, dude. So you said pull on it. What the hell? Dude! <laughs> now it's actually kind of noticeable. Now that like we know, it's a little bit more noticeable. What is it, like a tinier coin? I think we just like broke the seal on it a little bit. So look at this, it's a coin, right? And then you pull it apart. Is that a tinier coin? What is that? That's a blade, dude. It's a razor no, blade. It's not. <laughs> so it is, guys. This is a hidden blade for survival. Basically, you know, if anything bad were to happen, you know, let's just say you got taken by the enemy and they stripped you of everything you had. I don't think they'd try and take your last 50 cents. I mean, so <laughs> then you have this. At least you have something for your zombie survival. But I am just shocked, dude, because I, me and Parker were looking around for a minute. We just thought this dude dead ass just gave us a coin. <laughs> to be honest, you know, it's funny. I didn't want to say, but I thought that was a fake coin. Like, just like, like, <laughs> Not only is it a coin, it's a, it's a real 50 cents. Yeah, exactly. I wonder how sharp it is. It looks pretty damn sharp. We're going to go outside and test it to see what kind of usability we can get out of this. Hey, I'm interested to see what other mysteries lie within the mysteries of the items and layers of the items. Yeah, maybe it's like a, maybe it'd be like a dollar bill, at least in uh, anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the coin right here. Let's pop it open. Ooh. Okay, let's do that. Let's see what this thing's capable of. Three, two, one. Oh, nice, dude. That's not bad coming from a coin. <laughs> Damn, I am actually surprised we got anything from that. All right, let's try something else. Three, two, one. Oh. We have a little problem here. What happened? <laughs> Where did... I don't know. <laughs> Where are we? I have no clue. I think it might. All right, guys, for the first time ever, this is the question. Is it throwable? This is probably not throwable. We're going to try it, though. Is it throwable? Let's find out. Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> it punctured it! <laughs> this thing's pretty damn sick! <laughs> so it turns out a blade and a coin can actually be pretty sick if you want it to be. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's see what else we got in here. I'm gonna grab this thing. This thing looks very gimmicky. I keep, I'm not gonna lie, I looked in there a little bit. I saw it. This item I actually already knew about. We got the cop cam. So this, guys, is a very, very tiny camera. You can hide places so you can get footage for anything that you want to. It records up to 45 minutes as soon as you press that button, and you can plug it in and it records for a lot longer. The reason why it's called a cop cam, you think it's like a cam that cops use, so you can record the cops. Yeah. <laughs> These days, you need a cop cam. What's this guy holding? Like, it looks like, what is it, holding an ice cube or something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> meant to be there? No, that's where the camera was. What do you mean? Did you just buy an empty box or? Wait, I didn't buy it. I told you I already knew what this was. I already took the camera out of this one. Why? <laughs> because I needed to use it as a hidden camera. All right. So then where'd you put it? Did you notice it today? Uh, <laughs> around here? No. I didn't, I didn't notice anything. I put it in your car. How'd you get in my car? That's, that's between me and God. What? And the guy that helped me. What? <laughs> Play the footage. I'm with a new
Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Hey, how's your morning? James, always. Yours? Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Wow. I really didn't expect your morning to be that eventful. I didn't expect somebody to see my morning, so. I didn't um, expect you all an asshole. But <laughs> it wasn't you, it's just, you know, the world, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That was the hidden camera. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Did you find the other camera? What? The one in your room. What? No, never mind. All right, guys. So here it is. <laughs> and Nina, it was for science, okay? What's so, science? You don't have the right to talk when you were listening to the songs you were listening to. <laughs> hey, it's on a playlist. I can't really control it. You made the playlist. You what? can control it. <laughs> I know, but once you press shuffle, then they were still on it's there. Out of the my songs head. are still on there. So this is the camera, guys. It's super tiny. Honestly, the blue I didn't think was the best color. I thought it would be very easy to see, but turns out not so much. I actually think it's pretty cool. So this is a hidden camera, pretty spy-like. All right, guys. So this is what I want to show you. Is it comes the clip so you can clip it onto your shirt like this and record what is in front of you my thing about this is it's super easy to use literally all you do to make this work is press record wow that's all it takes me and Parker have tried at this point three different freaking mini cameras all of them extremely annoying and difficult to use agreed I'm glad that one was so simple to make people privacy yes me too <laughs> Alright, so now that we've seen that, let's see what else is in here. What if this box is really a box? That is a, not a box. What it seems. Seems to be a box. Alright, here we go, let's pull it out. <gasps> Do you see that? Let me put it this way. Cold steel! <laughs> I thought you got this from Wish. I guess Wish apparently holds cold steel. Let's see what we got in here though. Huh? This is a hair. <laughs> okay, so we got... A cold steel hairbrush. Maybe it's for flush, brushing out toxins and- Well, you haven't heard of the cold steel brush? Last year they just released the cold steel lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what the purpose of this is. Again, he said everything is not what it seems. Oh, so those have to be sharp. Those have to be little daggers, little swords. No, they oh. are just very, very nice bristles for combing out and detangling. Oh. <laughs> Last time it was pretty simple. Is it- <laughs> <laughs> there we go! Oh my god! Dude, and it's made out of the same material as the freaking Brooklyn Basher. The Brooklyn Comer. The Brooklyn Styler. <laughs> <laughs> Unbreakable dagger that came with it. So you can comb and look good for the honeys. <laughs> or you can defend the honeys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Google to make sure this is really cold steel before I keep marketing it. I really didn't know, so let's find out. <laughs> Alright, so it turns out this is a real thing by cold steel. It's called the cold steel honeycomb. And it literally literally has a 4.6 rating. I saw a review in there and it said, my hair has never been so detangled and my house has never been so goddamn safe. <laughs> <laughs> this comb has fixed my insecurity and this has fixed my security. <laughs> let's go outside and test this thing out. All right, so the cold steel comb, let's do this. You gotta slick it back on the sides, oh, yeah. then pull it out. and they just have it explode all over. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's pretty much what this is. There's not really a lot you can do with the comb, but damn, that is pretty sick. <laughs> I have to admit it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Everything is not. But it seems. Wizards of Waverly Place, great show. But <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got in here. It's in Chinese. I don't know what that means. The the Chinese ring. <laughs> <laughs> you put this on your door, oh, exclusively in China. It says Bing. <laughs> it's not this thing right here. Ring. It's called Bing. <laughs> exclusively in China. It's named after the inventor. So you know, <laughs> I don't know what this is exactly. I have to look at the reference paper. It's all in Chinese. But on the side, I already get some knowledge. Locations. A light. Camera. Sound. Alertness. <laughs> Let's pop this open. I'll leave the reference paper and we'll figure it out. Okay, guys. This actually the. Super Simplest thing, maybe the most useful thing so far in this box. This right here is a multiple of uses and it goes alongside with what we just used. So this camera, guys, I didn't mention it, but it also was motion sensitive. So this thing has a motion detector where basically it only records when it sees motion. So it has 45 minutes, but that can be stretched out through a lot of time when it sees the motion or catch an entire act. But with this device right here, if this was Superman, this would be its goddamn kryptonite. <laughs> so this finds hidden cameras. How does it do that? I I don't know. Well, I gotta read the instructions. Oh. <laughs> but. I mean, if that's true, that sounds amazing. So apparently you should be, this is considered your all, this is a doomsday prepper's dream right here. This has a security system, has a flashlight, and also an ability to find hidden cameras. Because obviously, we all want our own hidden cameras, but we don't want people hidden camera in on us. <laughs> I agree. Let me show you the security feature first, because that is dope. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you, first off, the security feature. The way you can use this is for, uh, if you're at a hotel, you can put it on the actual door handle. You can put it in your luggage at the airport.
port. You can put it on your textbook. There's literally an endless amount of ways you could use this. This is honestly I'm gonna be carrying on with me probably forever now, now that I know I exist. So watch this. So what I'm gonna do is come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this carabiner onto this backpack, right? Let's just say I'm at A3. I'm at Comic-Con, right? Putting my backpack down just for a second so I can get some water, some lunch, whatever. This big is already a mistake. Yeah, big mistake already. <laughs> but I'll say you're doing that. All you do is you leave your backpack there for a second. You press this button right here and drop it. So now we're gonna walk away. I'm gonna go buy my lunch, use the bathroom, whatever my stupid decision is. But wait in line for this great roller coaster that ain't definitely gonna be worth it because it's only like 12 seconds long. But I waited four hours. I need my backpack back. But while I was in line, some scoundrel tried to steal my stuff. And this is what would happen. So Parker, go ahead and try and grab that, you scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty sick. And I mean, yeah, obviously, they can still run off with it, but it's gonna be a lot harder going through the airport with, it's mine, it's definitely my backpack. I swear to God, didn't steal it, just taking this thing to the, to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> so this thing is super sensitive too. And just to show you guys how sensitive you can make it, this is how sensitive you can make it. Wow. <laughs> Literally, if somebody's even breathing too close, it will go off. And it has a flashlight. Did I mention the flashlight? Now, let's see, can it really find hidden cameras though? Okay guys, so right here, obviously we have the hidden camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that on. It's already on. We're gonna play a game trying to see if me and Parker can find it using this device. But first off, let me show you what it actually looks like. So go ahead and point at that normally with the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in front of it. This is what I would be seeing through. It's hard to tell on the camera, but what you'll notice is this is actually the only thing that's lighting up with like a red light. It's really hard to see on camera, but in the actual thing, it's very prominent. This is the only thing glowing very brightly red. That's without it, that's with it. And you can see it's literally flashing from the inside, right? So that is how if you find it. But my thing is, is that, that was very obvious right there. If we put the camera like kind of hidden, like, you know, between these bushes or something, would it be that prominent? So we're gonna have a little test. I'm gonna hide the camera somewhere, or Parker's try and find it. Then he's gonna hide the camera somewhere. I'm gonna see if I can find it using just that device. And that will simulate if we were in a hotel room or if we were bunking somewhere in a doomsday prepper situation, could we use this device to find any hidden cameras to make sure that we are really alone? All right, Parker, get your ass over there in the bathroom, in the door closed. Weird. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna hide this right now. I'm not gonna tell say out loud where I'm hiding it because Parker will obviously know then. But you door closed with you inside. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put it right. This is, he's never gonna find it in this spot. So, what we're gonna do is this came in fan mail. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put this inside of there. I'm gonna need two hands, so give me one second, guys. All right, guys, so that is where I put the camera. It's right inside the truck. There's no way he's gonna find that. Those lights that you guys see, that is literally showing up only on the camera. It's currently recording, but Parker won't be able to see that. Now, we're gonna let him out and see if he can find it. All right, Parker, you can come out now. You can come out now. 2019, you can get out that closet. <laughs> All right, you got your device. Go ahead and turn it on, and let's do it. Okay, you almost broke this. You broke the security device. You are not secure. Don't insure this, man. <laughs> All right, now put on your eyes. Shutting gun. <laughs> so we're gonna put a timer on screen. Whoever finds the camera in the least amount of time wins. Go for it. Yeah, this okay. actually works. <laughs> I will, like we'll I find see, out right now. <laughs> what does this camera look like? Not hidden. Can't, yeah, very not hidden. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting, you're getting warm. You're getting warmer. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, you put it in this plant, huh? That's a classic. <laughs> nope, that's, that's not a classic. Move. No, no, no. What the? <laughs> Damn it! You found it inside of my Hummer. No, <laughs> that was a good spot, though, right? <laughs> Did it work? Uh, I mean, if I would have noticed the door was open at first, I would have probably it said that was a bad spot, but I didn't notice it. So. <laughs> yeah, but dude, I can't even believe that it worked. That I, I mean, I knew it was over here because I know you. But the fact that if I, I would just walked in somewhere, I would have just put these on, and then I would have found it. All right, so now it's my turn in the bathroom. You know the drill. Close the door. I will close the door. Do it. I will say that he farted in here, and you must know about it because it smells. I close the door. <laughs> He'll never know. All right, you're good. All right, give me my device. I am so ready for this, dude. I was ready for it, but you gotta give it to me for me to be ready. Okay. <laughs> so I just walked into an hotel, the Venetian, the worst hotel. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. But we walked into the Venetian, Las Vegas, and I have a scent, some kind of pervert. <laughs> some kind of scumbag. Yeah, some kind of pervert in here trying to watch me throw the salami, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see. Did you have put it back in the box in the seam? No. Okay. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but. <laughs> <laughs> Could you have put it on this pole, this beam? Did you put it? Somewhere between these seams? I don't know. <laughs> Where'd you even go? Or maybe you put it in a can of cream. What? 
<laughs> Come on, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna have to do it as a team. Because when you hit this, you must have been drinking some lean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, there it is. That came up so perfectly. That's, dude, that's not it. You're ruining your mother's plants. <laughs> My mother ruined meat. <laughs> There we go. Holy crap, dude. It was perfect. Oh, Jesus. I was like literally looking right here. The right, the brightest red cherry was just right inside there. I'm like, this, this thing never had a period. <laughs> this thing actually worked. All right, guys. So this is the last item. It obviously didn't fit inside the other box. I'm extremely excited to see what we got in here. I like boxes that are this shape because they're usually a lot of fun. But I don't know what's in this one. So let's see what we got here. All right, let's slide this out. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Oh, I just saw it right now. This is a quick draw sword cane. But you didn't guess that. Um, you know what? <laughs> I, I didn't, Marcus. Dude, this freaking feels so solid. I mean, it's cold steel. This, and oh, I didn't mention, guys. Cold steel, anytime, anywhere. Dude, this thing is so freaking solid. You'll, mm, what? No, nope. I'll let you touch it. Why not? Just feel it. Yeah, I'm just assuming it's gonna do shit like that. <laughs> oh, this is my, my BBC. Okay, <laughs> don't touch my, my BBC, my big black cane. Okay, <laughs> so from now on, this is on the ADHD World Channel with the BBC. <laughs> what does it do though? Let's find out. I'm an old friend, man. <laughs> I'm walking down the street. I just fall. Oh. Everything is once your mobility fails, everything else fails too. <laughs> my eyes, okay. Oh, it's taking all my energy just to speak. <laughs> like my stupid arthritis in my spine. <laughs> Where is the licorice? Suck it, old man. Oh! Oh! Jesus! <laughs> you wanna say suck it, old man? Damn, dude! <laughs> okay, guys, so right here we have a sword cane. It is a cane, a very solid cold steel cane, and it doesn't look like there's a sword in here for sure, but this thing right here. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> Not a blade, but it is for just straight stabbage. Dang, so it's just like a it's just a big metal rod, huh? Let's go outside and test this thing, guys. We're gonna test the cane because this thing feels super solid. Hopefully it doesn't bend and break. And we're obviously gonna try that part of it. I'll see you guys outside. Turn that off. All right, guys, so right now we're going to be testing out the actual freaking poker right here. Let's see how this thing works. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cane out, stab it a few times, put the cane back in, use the cane itself as a slamming device. Oh, okay, let's do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, it goes all the way through. And then put it back in. Oh, <laughs> dude, cold steel cane. I thought that would bend it. All right, so, so far, the poker is poking. Oh! It went all the way through. <laughs> the most epic thing was the blast. I felt like Harry Potter, <laughs> but just blasting Coca-Cola. Now that that's happened, this is a wand. <laughs> that is epic. You can go through the top one? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Didn't work, didn't work. Die! All right, guys, so now what we're gonna be doing is testing out the actual pipe. This is a very thin cane. I wanna see if it's gonna bend. I thought it was gonna bend on the water jug. Let's see what happens, ready? Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh. All right, all right. All right. So we're, we're an old man, we just beat a zombie. Is the cane still okay? Yes, it is. It's beautiful. Because it's made by goddamn cold steel. I just want to take a moment to appreciate cold steel. They didn't pay anything in this video, but I just want to appreciate them for being a product where every single time I use it, it's a good time and nothing breaks. So thank you. It is completely 100% reliable. Now, let's go and do one last thing that should be summing up for the cold steel day. All right, guys. So we're in the zombie apocalypse. Let's see how much damage this thing could really do in a short short amount of time if we were an old elderly man with a cane or if we're just some badass that walks around with an all white suit and a cane. Three, two, one. Oh. Quite a lot, very quickly. Oh yeah, but we're not done. And then as the zombie bleeds away, you're like, let's finish this. Oh. oh. 
and you finished them. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you subscribe if you're new here. You don't want to miss the next video. Turn on bell notifications and make sure your phone actually has YouTube notifications enabled. Because a lot of you guys have the notifications on, but you don't have your YouTube app enabled for notifications, guys. So turn it on. But anyway, guys, check out this video right here, which is actually Spy Mystery Box episode number one. There was literally a sound gun where I was able to hear Parker from over a thousand feet away. There was night vision goggles. Just go check out the video, okay? It's right here on screen. Go check it out, and I'll see you beautiful people over there. As always, Rat Pack, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Bloop.